iPhone 13 Pro. It's been a week with this device, and I have a few thoughts. Let's talk about it for a second. Yo, what's up everybody? Tech King Mike back again with another quick video for you guys. And yes, I unboxed the iPhone 13 Pro a little over a week ago. And I've, I've really enjoyed this device. And I have nothing but positive things to say about it. It's an iPhone. You're going to get the typical things that you get with an iPhone. So I'm not really too frustrated or mad about the limitations of iOS and things like that because I know what to expect. But the problem that I have with the iPhone 13 Pro is that this phone is so damn good i gotta get rid of it man i gotta take it back and it's not again it's not because there's a problem with the phone it's just because if i'm gonna ride out the next year with one iphone because i'm not i'm not I'm, I'm not the type of creator that'll go buy the mini and the 13 you know just so i can do comparisons and stuff like that i get one iphone and i and i stick to that and if i'm gonna ride out the next year with one iphone as much as it pains me to say it I don't think I can do it with the Pro. A soul for a soul. I gotta get a Max, man. The battery life on this thing has been nothing short of incredible in my usage. And I'm talking about a device with a sub 3,500 milliamp hour battery running 120 hertz, be it if it's uh, uh, optimized 100% or not, it's still there to a certain extent. It's running 5G. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all day. I took this phone off the charger when I went to work for my new job at 4 a.m. And it didn't need to go on the charger until almost 10 o'clock that night. Well over 15 to 16 hours of battery on this little device. All that tells me is that jumping to a Pro Max would be even better. But there is one thing that makes me want to jump to the Pro Max that could potentially be an issue for the 13 Pro. And it's something that you may want to be aware of if you are considering a 13 Pro, or if you already have one, then like myself, you're still within that return window. You might want to consider this. When these apps begin to get more optimized for 120 Hertz, people, that's going to be a significant increase in the drain of the battery. And I don't know if this little guy is going to be able to keep up like it is right now. The 13 Pro Max already has the bigger battery. It's already equipped and prepared for that potential drastic drop in battery when more of your favorite apps are taking advantage of 120 hertz refresh rate adaptive more often. So it's for that reason being battery and actually really and truly just the screen size itself. Being those two reasons are why I think I have to go on ahead and just make that move. I'm probably going to have to wait a little while because my dumb self didn't pre-order a Pro Max. I pre-ordered this instead. I'm probably going to have to wait a little while for it to come, but that's fine. I'll just grab me an SE to get me by or whatever. I might go back to using Old Faithful over here, my beautiful iPhone 6S. So either way, I'm going to have to go on ahead and make that move because the 13 Pro has been a great device. But if I'm going to get the best that Apple has to offer as far as battery life and just everything, all the bells and whistles, yes, the cameras are the same. So you're not really missing anything other than that battery life. But man, that is it. I need the best battery I can get on the phone because for what I do for a living, I'm not always able to plug my device up in my vehicle since I slip seat. So I got to have the best battery life no matter what. And the 13 Pro right now, it's getting the job done, but I just don't know if it can do it in the long term. But let me know down below in the comments, what do you think? The iPhone 13 this year, I think they did a great job with the lineup, and I think the Pro lineup is, is, is it's one of the best it's been. I think it's more of an upgrade than people are giving it credit for, but we have to be able to hold Apple accountable for the shortcomings and for the issues. Now, the bugs and everything with the 120 hertz, refresh rate adaptive, I hope that it'll be fixed sooner than later, but it's just in the back of my mind. I can't help but wonder, what's it going to do to my battery once every app is taking advantage of it? Is it... You know, am I going to still see them seven to eight hours of screen on time every day or is it going to go down to six to five or five to four? And then and then am I going to be kicking myself that I spent the money that I spent for this device and I kept it when I could have gotten out of it. So I don't know. That's my thought process right now. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I will catch you guys in another video. iPhone 13 Pro. Amazing phone, but it's making me want to go get a Pro Max. I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Tech King Mike. I'm out.